Hello and welcome to another Excel video with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to look at a couple of methods to display the name of the day of the week that's found with a given date. So, for example, with that first date I have in uh, cell A2, is the day Friday, is it Monday, is it Tuesday, etc. And uh, so, when you have a scenario where you need to sort of filter or search <clears throat> based on the name of a day of the week like how many of my entries happened on Thursday etc so we want to be able to set that up so uh, if you want to put in some sample dates in column A you can go ahead and pause the video and once you have some dates in place in column A go ahead and restart and we'll make it happen okay <clears throat> there's a couple of ways you could do this uh, sort of the the cheat would be to simply do something with formatting so uh, I'll go to cell uh, B1 and type um, day name and I'll type the word formatting here because we're only gonna do some formatting to make this happen <clears throat> which uh, while it'll be very easy <clears throat> we'll have some uh, some liabilities in terms of uh, e in terms of what you can do with the data so uh, first, I'll just write a basic formula that just recaptures the data in column A. So my formula in B2 will simply be equals A2. So we're just bringing over really the value from column A into column B. But we're going to apply some formatting. So uh, recall that the control one key is the shortcut for, uh, for your formatting window. Of course, you could right click and choose format cells. So what I'm going to do is switch to custom and where it currently says type it actually shows you the codes for the current date format which is uh, M for months, D for days, and Y for years. Uh, in that format you simply get the, the month slash day and then the four digit year. So if I wanted to have say a three letter abbreviation for the name of the day of the week I could type three letter D's and so I have that typed in DDD it shows the result as uh, the three letter abbreviation for Friday and then I click OK and that's it so I can now just double click to fill that down and so now with a simple formatting uh, process you have at least in appearance the day of the week showing up in column B the problem is that uh, this is still uh, a date value as far as Excel is concerned so for example if I did a right click and chose to sort this data so if I say sort oldest to newest uh, it's still based on the actual date because that's what's really inside the cell is a full date value so it's not going to sort all the Mondays together all the Tuesdays etc because that's just sort of a format that appears on top of the value so let's look at doing this a different way I'm going to go to cell C2 and say, uh, or C1 rather, day name, and uh, I'll put formula. Okay. So here we're actually going to create a formula that actually puts the text value Friday or Monday or whatever into the cell, not just a formatting element. To do this, we're going to look at a function to help us out. Uh, that's called weekday. So in cell C2, we'll start out with the weekday function. So we'll say equals weekday. And so the first parameter or input for the weekday function is the date value itself. It says serial number uh, in the helper, and that's because dates in Excel are simply uh, serial numbers that start with 1 on January 1st of 1900 so when you're referring to a cell that contains a date value it's really just a number that's been formatted to look like a date so a2 and then what's nice is you can specify how you like to number your weekdays with this function so if we look at the default uh, I don't want to launch the help here so let's look at let, I'm just going to kind of move that helper tag out of the way so if I put a 1 here right and this is by the way this is a uh, this is an optional component where it says return type we see in the helper that that's uh, in square brackets so that lets you know that you don't have to specify the return type so the default would be one 
where Sunday is number one, Monday is two, etc. I always thought that was interesting, and I tend to think of Monday as the first day of my week. And we see that that option is provided by putting a two in that parameter. So if you use two as that component of the formula for the return type, now any value that any date value that lands on a Monday, well, the weekday function now will return that as a number one. So when I hit the Enter key, uh, we see that that shows five. So if I'm considering Monday to be the first day of the week, Friday would definitely be the fifth. And we can see that that's the same thing we got. We got uh, FRI when we had the formatting turned on to that value in column B. Well, that's only halfway for us, right? We now know what number it is, but I don't want the number five showing up as my final result. I want to have the word or the abbreviation FRI show up. So we're going to put our weekday function inside the choose function. So the choose function is extremely powerful. We'll put our cursor between the equal sign and the weekday function and type choose open paren. And here's how the choose function works. The first thing you have to give the choose function is an index number. So that's some number that tells it what item to choose from a list of values. So we have index number comma and then value one, comma value two, etc. So my index number is what's going to be generated by my weekday function here. And then comma, my values are going to be a list of the seven uh, days of the week. So I'll do open quote, MON, close quote, comma, open quote, TUE. You get the idea. So each of the values in this list will be the three-letter abbreviation of the day of the week. And of course, the fifth value that I'm entering is FRI. So if that weekday function at the front is returning uh, the value uh, five, then it's going to pick the fifth value from my list. Okay, And I'll go ahead and continue to enter that. So FRI, comma, and then uh, as I get to the sixth value, which will be SAT, it may be somewhat cut off on the end of the screen. Fortunately, we have a little bit of a word wrap, so you're okay. So Saturday, comma, open quote, S-U-N, close quote, close paren. So again, let's take a look at what's happening here. Your choose function, you're first generating the index number, and we, we saw that that was turning back to number five, and so the fifth item that we're going to choose is the word or the abbreviation F-R-I. So I hit enter, and we see that we do get F-R-I, and now I can just fill that down for the other entries. So again, quickly to recap what's happening here, the choose function, you're providing an index number, and we're generating that index number uh, automatically with the weekday function, which is kicking back a number one through seven uh, based on the weekday from column uh, A. So uh, since uh, that day, one seven two thousand is on a Friday, uh, this is generating the number five. By generating the number five as the index number for the choose function, it's going to then choose the fifth entry, which is FRI. Uh, what's the benefit of doing that extra work as opposed to just putting some formatting onto the column like we did over in B? Well, now the actual value in the cell is the, is the abbreviation FRI. So if I right-click and say sort A to Z, so then all the Fridays are now together, all the Mondays, etc., I could not have done this, gotten the same result in column B because the values in B are actually date values. So when I say sort, we see oldest to newest, newest to oldest. Also another clue for you that is seeing the, uh, the data therein as date values. Okay? Or I could do some filtering, right? So if I, if I turn on my filter tool, if I go to column B, again, those are just date values, then we have the typical date filters, which you know, actually the filtering by date is not, not a bad thing. It's got a great way of categorizing the different dates into years and months, etc. But again, the idea behind this exercise is that you need to categorize or sort or filter based on the day of the week. So now with uh, column C having those values, I could say, oh, I really just want to look at my Thursday and Friday information. So I'll select those two values and then that's what's got filtered the Thursday and Fridays. 
So this is the weekday function in conjunction with choose to come up with a process for actually listing the name of the day of the week inside a cell. I hope this is useful for you and I appreciate you tuning in. Come back soon for more Excel videos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.